Hello and welcome to Oliver Kershaw Photography. Today is going to be a super exciting day. Uh, we're going to go out and shoot some horses. So we often shoot dogs and cats in pet photography, uh, but horses is a little bit different. There's a little bit more to it. It's out and about and they're bigger animals. So uh, let's get on it. So cue car montage. Hi, thanks for stopping by. It's great to see you on our channel. Uh, but I'm here with Paul, uh, BB in Scrapped Off. In scrapped off. Uh, it's his horse, Trigger, and uh, he's got the other horse in the background. Uh, so we're going to have some fun with the horses. So let's have a look at our setup and see how it looks, see what results we're going to get. Uh, ideally, we want some fine art photography, uh, and you're going to see it all in the making. So let's have a look at what we're going to do first off. First off, we're going to get the horse used to the setup. We're going to walk the horse around, uh, make sure it's used to the flashes, make sure it's used to all the setup. Then we're going to pop up some flashes, uh, make sure the horse doesn't spook, uh, and well, just make sure it's used to the actual flashes and everything else that goes with it. So let's have a look at the setup. Okay, so we've, uh, we're in the field with the horse. Uh, we've got two lights set up. So we've got our first main light, which we've got a big soft box on. Uh, the big soft box is our key light and then we've got our rim light with a grid uh, just to capture uh, the extra bit of light on the back of the horse. So as you can see at the moment we've got the horse going around the setup making sure that the horse is used to everything. Uh, we're going to pop off some flashes in a moment uh, and see if the horse is, uh, well, uh, see if the horse bolts or does anything spooky uh, and then at least we can be prepared. Uh, we've got an exit route for the horse uh, to, if the horse does go uh, wild, then we can make sure that we're safe and uh, the keepers are safe as well. Right, so we're about to start shooting. Uh, what I'm going to be shooting on today is my 70 to 200. It's got some lovely compression. It allows me to be further away from the subject as well, uh, so that extra bit of safety. We've got an A9 Mark II, uh, great for focus and so forth, and we've got our Profoto lights on. So we're just going to fire off some flashes and make sure the horse uh, doesn't spook and make sure that he's safe with it. He's just, he is just loving it in the field currently. So I think this is going to be a fantastic shooting session. Right, so let's see the first shot. So settings, what are we going to go for? So we're going to shoot at about F10 with a 200, F uh, 200 shutter speed. Let the lead slack a little bit and then step away from him just a bit more perfect and then if we can after he goes there just call his name slack and then pull his head to me you can that's it okay so we're gonna now set up in a different location so remember shade is a photographer's friend so what we're gonna do we're gonna set up in the shade here in this field 
Now in this field, we've got a uh, trigger in the background so we can see what we're doing. And uh, what we're gonna do is set up some shots. So very similar to the last shot, we're gonna do a key light, uh, two light setup. So we've got our rim light at the back, so the key light at the front. So we've got the wind picking up as well. So we've got some heavy duty holders to make sure the flashes don't blow over uh, and start all the horse. So let's get this set up. See if we can so it lets square off his feet just a tad that's it spot on beautiful okay so triggers getting a little bit restless we can see here so we'll make this our last couple one two So that concludes our first ever horse photography session. Uh, it was great fun, uh, but it's off to the studio. Let's get these edited uh, and see what we've got in the studio.